In the roof clamp line, we have two sizes. This is the RC, this is the smaller of the two. This is the RCT, this is the larger of the two sizes. They're both universal fit. The RC is good for about 90% of today's standing seam panels. The RCT is going to fit about 95% of today's standing seam panels. And the difference is the RCT is going to fit your wider bulb seams and T seams up to an inch and a half. But otherwise, this is going to fit most panels out there. Both models are made in the USA from extruded non-corrosive 6061 T6 aluminum. The one-piece design features three set screws, so you get three stainless steel set screws, plus a top bolt and a washer. So these are the perfect solution for mounting just about anything to a standing seam roof without penetrating the panels or voiding warranties. All the clamps are backed by a lifetime replacement warranty, and these are commonly used to mount solar panels, walkways, satellite dishes, snowbar systems, signage, etc. There's no assembly required because it's a one-piece design. RC has a one inch wide throat opening and it's one inch deep. The RCT is 1.1 inches across the throat and it's an inch and three eighths inch deep. One great thing about this wide throat opening is it can drop right over the seam. Even the larger T-seams, you can drop it right over the seam. A lot of clamps on the market have to be fed from the end of the seam up to its position. Another great feature of the roof clamp is that we use coarse threaded set screws. Because we're going into an aluminum clamp body, the coarse threaded set screw doesn't chew up the threads. Be very careful about buying clamps that use a fine threaded set screw into an aluminum body because if it gets over torqued or many times if it's just torqued to spec, those can lock up inside the clamp and you have to use a grinder to cut the clamp off if you want to reuse it or reset the torque. Installation of the roof clamp is very simple. It has three set screws. So the quickest way to do this is you take two set screws and you go ahead and preload them about to where their finished position is going to be when they're on the seam. You want this centered on the seam and level. Preload these two just like that, set it on the seam, hold it steady, and then I have a two inch long by three sixteenths Allen bit in my screw gun. And I have my screw gun set on the highest clutch setting of 15. Now I also use a flex bit. This isn't included, but uh, you can buy an inexpensive flex bit if you don't already have one. And basically this just, when you're low to the seam, you just slide that in and it, and it lets you get that angle on that set screw. So you would just tighten that set screw up on your clutch so you don't over tighten it. Then you get your micro torque wrench. So any torque wrench capable of reading into inch pounds. With ours, you loosen this knob. You twist the handle till you have it set at 90 inch pounds. You tighten that knob back up. Then you hold this clamp steady and then you do your final torque setting and you want to torque all three set screws. Installation of this clamp shouldn't take you more than a minute. 